think our special guest is on the phone. Oh, shit. No break. Hello? Hello there. This is Scott Stapp from Creed. How you doing? Hey, Scott Stapp <laughs> from Creed. I, did you know that I think you guys are the best? Oh, yeah. You know, I talked to Scott Stapp's uh, mom once for about half an hour. For real? For real? Yeah, on, on the phone. She called quite by mistake to this uh, place I was working, and uh, she was looking for a place to repair trophies and awards because uh, Scott Stab gave her his uh, uh, Grammy Award, and it got damaged when her basement flooded. And So I talked to her about it. I couldn't help bringing up the uh, behind the music of Creed. And- <laughs> <laughs> Did, yeah, so this it wasn't for a Longmont Potion Castle project. It was just because no. that's so crazy. Oh, no. I was like, did if oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Longmont Potion Castle's on the phone, you guys, and we're very excited to have you Yay! on. Thanks for calling, and thanks for uh, calling uh, right after work. And so, what people don't know is Long Pom- Longmont Potion Ca- LPC has a has a day job, but don't say what it is. Oh yeah. Yeah, I won't say what it is. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you will say or you won't? Uh, I can. I'm uh, no, you canvassing. Don't have... Oh, canvassing. Okay, cool. Yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. Well, what, what was this? <laughs> oh, Scott's... Yeah. Well, we were we were just talking about Scott Stapp recently because I I want to defend the guy. Well, not him specifically. I did defend him though. Mm. But I I de- I defend the, the the guitar tone on the first Creed album. Do you know oh, what? There I, you go. Do you do you do you know that really chunky, chunky like tuned down thing they had going on? I think it's a good tone. Do you disagree with me? Drop drop D, drop D, drop C. Yeah, I I I appreciate that. Sure. Yeah, I'm fine with it. I'm not. Uh, my uncle tried to get me into um, the offshoot band uh, Alter Bridge. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, you got to hear Bridge, and I, it was really boring. I didn't like it very much. Yeah, I, I sat through recently. I sat through trying to listen to two the first two Alter Bridge albums, and it was very. I was looking for something to like in it because I, I wanted uh-huh. to, I wanted to double down on how Creed is good, but nope, it didn't work. I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't fucking. It was the worst. Um, yeah. But okay, so let me ask you this: since we're talking about like poppy kind of music now. People, yeah. People know mostly know your music to be really crazy, noisy, fast, chunky riffage, um, noise collage kind of stuff. Identified caller, what do you need? Oh, I need a back rub. My back's really sore today. Wow. Hey, come on, fuckhead. Who are you? Uh, my name's uh, Herbie. Herbie Rubber. Yeah, well, ah. go and fuck yourself, bastard. Um, okay. They just. I'm sorry about that. It's okay. Oh, no, feel free. Feel free to break break those guys. I know you have a double what? line there. So, do you ever when you write music? Do you ever try to write like poppy, sing songy stuff? Not sing songy, but like lyrical. Yeah. Yeah. Has has that stuff sure. ever? Sure. I mean, uh, like in the in the context of uh, Longmont, you mean? Um, or in or general? Do, do you have do you have other projects that m- people might not know as you? Uh, God, I make all kinds of recordings. I'm just, uh, a geek with recording. You know, Andrew W.K. says, what is a geek? Just somebody who's interested in something. So, you know, that's me. I'm always recording stuff. Yeah, I like all kinds of, uh, you know, I was thinking about this the other day, and, uh, I, you know, my attitude about people suck, that the people sucking and they suck and all, that hasn't changed from being a, a teen, but with guitar players, I find that I like almost all of them. There's maybe five guitar players that I just can't say anything good about. So uh, I take a lot of uh, inspiration and enjoyment out of like just many, many guitar players. And uh, yeah, I could get really into guitar speak with you. I mean, you don't you don't have to, but here, let me give you. Real quick, I'll yeah. give you I'll give you a lightning round. All right, let's do it. Okay, David let's Lee Roth. Yeah. David oh, David David Lee Roth versus 
uh, David Lee Ross, not a guitar player, sorry. Eddie Van Halen versus uh, uh, Tony Iommi. Uh, Tony Iommi versus who? Eddie Van Halen. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, well, for riffs, uh, Tony Iommi. Yeah, and yeah. for leads, Eddie. Okay, that's a good way to look at it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, how about um, Kirk, mm. Kirk Hammett? Versus David Vin... No. Who's the guy in Morbid Angel? Trey. Trey is Azagoth. Okay, Ooh. that's who we do. Kirk Hammett versus Trey is Azagoth. A gaz is off. For riffs, uh, I can kind of distinguish them better with Kirk Hammett. Yeah. Uh, and for leads, I'll say Trey. Yeah. Okay. I, I can't... Good. Uh, yeah, lightning I, round. Those are those were both Perfect. bad. I should I should have thought of them, but I, you know I was just trying to come up with them on the top Ooh, of my head. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh. LPC. Uh-huh. Do you love movies? Do you like movies? What did you say? I'm, I'm having a cold beverage here. What did you say? What do you drink? Me? What are you drinking? I have my own uh, mixed drink. It has. Uh, uh, it's a pint glass filled with ice cubes, mm-hmm. and then it has uh, one part white rum, a little splash of maraschino liqueur, mm. and you fill it up. You fill it up with grapefruit juice, and at the end, you add a splash of cranberry juice, and it's a oh. takeoff on the Hemingway daiquiri. But I've perfected it, I believe. Yeah, that sounds good. I did. Yeah. I didn't know you made. Do you have a lot of Do you have a lot of drink combos, or is this just the one you? Go? No, I have that every <laughs> night. Every night, every single night, every time I have that, I gave up beer, and I don't have much else to do. Oh yeah, have that. <laughs> that's good. Oh yeah, beer is yeah. Oh, I gave up beer too. I got the gout. It sucks, but I drink a lot of rum, like you said. Oh, I'm sorry. You do white rum? Or yeah. What? Yeah, yeah, white and dark Come rum. On. Coming home from a party, I had too much Bacardi. <laughs> now I'm taking two lanes. Oh yeah. <laughs> Do you ever? Do you like that place? Do you like that place in Denver? That uh, it's like one of my dream places to go to. That Mexican place is it Casa Bonita that has all the waterfalls? Oh. <laughs> yeah, but what is Casa Bonita? Wow, with the divers and the ha- flames. Is the it cool? Should I go there? Followers. Yeah, you should go there. I mean, you should probably eat beforehand, but... Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I want to talk about the new movie being made about you, but before I do that, I want to ask yeah. you about... Do you, you do you love... Does LPC, yeah. do you love film and cinema and movies? Oh, yeah. Yes, absolutely. My my thing is I, I've got... Uh, I'm very apt. I have an aptitude for music and music credits and... Uh, musicians and engineers and recording studios, but with movies, the names, the actors, it's all out the window. So, but you, I love to watch them. I've seen many, many, many movies. Who are you? Who's <laughs> who's some of your favorite, maybe uh, film score composers? I can't retain the information. Oh, oh. composers! Yeah, because compo- oh, you said music. You know, uh, Graham Revell is comes right to mind from yes. SBK and now he's doing his thing. I think he may have retired. Um, Graham Ravel is amazing. Oh, I like uh, no, they Jerry just, Goldsmith. He just played or something recently. He just played out here in SF. Actually. I don't oh, think he's retired. gosh, really? Yeah. Wow. I, yeah. Um, hello? hello? Okay. I like... Sorry, go oh, ahead. Oh, oh, oh. I like uh, Jerry Goldsmith. I like... Uh, um, oh, uh, the guy, uh... Who, who? Uh, I can... Ha- only two that come to mind, uh, the one guy, Terrence, no, Terrence, uh, no. No. Well, those are the two that come to okay. mind. Okay, all right, cool. That's good to know. Um, so, bands, we were talking about... I'm you sure have I'll ap- think of it in a minute. Aptitude for, yeah, say it when you think of it. Aptitude for music, you said. Uh, so, bands, tell me about the... the er- I know you're into such, so much crazy stuff now. But the earliest music you really remember loving, what is that? Uh, well, I mean, Kiss. Re- oh, really? Nice. Have you ever played in a yeah. Kiss cover uh, band? I did. How did you know that? I don't. I'm just. I'm just assuming because you're one of the, these older guys who likes Kiss. They all do. 
I'm an older kid. <laughs> yeah, you're an older <laughs> kid. Oh, you had to be. You were Gene, right? Because you're tall. No, I was Peter. I was the drummer. Oh, really? Uh huh. And it was funny because they gave you so much free beer uh, that no matter how much we drank, I could not screw it up. I just those songs are ingrained in me. I cannot yeah. forget or mess them up. Were you? Uh, we were, were called Knights in Satan Service. Nice. Knights oh, in- here. Did that's what people <laughs> thought? That's what people thought Kiss stood for. Did you? Were you good Hello, at the kitty cat here. make? Were you good at the kitty cat makeup? Yeah, I have a big nose, so it looks kind of <laughs> different than you. All right, everyone. I want to let you know that LPC, these people, are trying to make a movie about him. Uh, they're great people, and Rain Wilson from The Office is is wants to produce it. And there's an Indiegogo, and you just go to indiegogo.com slash project slash Longmont Potion. Just Google Longmont Potion Castle movie, Indiegogo. Uh, what can? Thank you for bringing. Thank you for mentioning it. It's not going to be a straight documentary, right? No, it's. I mean, people who enjoy uh, the Longmont stuff will will appreciate it. It's there'll be uh, revelations, but it'll it'll keep that 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 feel and that vibe of the of the Longmont album to, as well to it. I saw. So I'm happy. Yeah, Happy to say that. I saw the teaser, and it's it's a uh, it's an animation put to um, the this fog machine call that we we played earlier, and the animation uh, is amazing. It looks like 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 uh, Dead Kennedys covers or something. You know what I mean? Like it's that old collage yeah. look that I really love. So you're gonna have you're gonna have input on the way you want it to look and everything, right? I do get input, yes, and I'm happy to say that. So uh, it's yeah. gonna be good and. Folks who have contributed, I thank you, and um, everybody who has uh, participated and helped Longmont Potion Castle over the last 29 years, I want to thank you. Uh, that's the reason we're here tonight, talking right. about it. So thank you, everyone. I am thank- grateful to you. You know what? You- I may get Ernest here for a moment. Ernest goes to... Ernest goes to... Whatever. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Hello. Well, thank, Hi. thank, okay. thank you for really. I mean, your work is actually super special to people, and it's you know, it's, uh, it's we all just talk, uh, you know, talk, quote, we just talk in Longmont speak all the time, and it's I don't know, it kind of changed the world in a way. But there's lots of cool perks and stuff. He'll call you. He'll fucking call oh, yeah. you. But uh, okay, this is what I want to know. So uh-huh. you said the last 29 years you've been doing since 1988 since you were a kid we're doing have been doing longmont potion castle what are you going to do for the big 30th year i have an idea for you that's it the movie oh that's the movie oh yeah (laughs) all right this is what i think you should do you ready longmont potion castle in virtual reality you put on those goggles you go in and you start you start talking to people in virtual reality second life holographic roof <laughs> yeah never mind don't do it but like i can imagine a no. little character with a whip and shit you know and just walking <laughs> <off. Whip>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah like uh i contributed to a video game recently oh cool some voices um i uh yeah so thank you so the movie uh if it succeeds uh will be called where in the hell is the lavender house Mm-hmm. And uh, that will be my way of honoring 30 years of this project. If people will help me and help everyone involved make it happen, uh, I would love to have that be the thing that commemorates 2018. When okay, so around. every we want yeah. we want to get it made. Uh, you got to go to the Indiegogo and yeah come on just contribute because he'll call you and stuff you get there's lots of cool perks too and our friend uh, yeah. Vi- our friend vivek vikantesh is making it who's a friend vivek. of the show he's great have you yeah. met and Ra- R- yeah totally uh, rain wilson totally. have you met him totally is he tall what's he smell like <laughs> we we have the same shirt size yes nice oh Fine. you guys trade shirts um uh, okay so i have i have to ask you about the calls now real quick because people would be mad sure. at me if i didn't talk to you about the work that we're all familiar with i try to get to know i'm trying to get to yeah. know the other stuff you know but all right mm-hmm. so lately i've read interviews with you and stuff where you're like yeah it's kind of more of a nine to five thing and it, i don't know it kind of implied that you feel sometimes pressured or not a joy when you're making the calls could that be true it feels more like a job nowadays well can i tell you Yes. 
That is true. I, I don't I don't retract that. It's it's true. Sometimes it's but, understandable too. Uh, I'm happy to tell you that Lama Poster Castle 13 mm-hmm. comes out at New Year's, and it mm-hmm. yes, thank you. Did someone clap? No, nice. I want to think someone did. I love this album, and I did not thank you, and it did not feel like a chore. I was really into it, and it nice. Oh man, I'm psyched about this album. It's, it's it make it takes me back to you know the late '80s when I started this, and it really felt good. And it's it's really cool. This album's really cool. So this one uh, brought me around. You know, smell oh, yeah. salt. Oh, nice, nice. It's, I can't wait. That's every. It's like an event you. when you drop an album. And so, I mean, the last couple albums you've had. Uh, no, I don't want to ask you about the celebs. I want that to be a surprise. So I want to know, okay. like, are you more? Uh, are, are, maybe, maybe nowadays, are you less improv and more conceptual in your calls? I I wouldn't say uh, no. I wouldn't say less. So I would say more long form. I mean, this mm-hmm. album coming up, Long Month Thirteen, is a triple CD or yes. double cassette. It's a three hour album. But I mean, please don't don't be put off by that because this is no. solid. I. I vouch for every minute of it, and that's why I'm excited about it. Oh, yeah. Uh, one track's 33 minutes. One track. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah, so it is getting more It's is like This more. is like your Tales from Topographic Oceans. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like prog rock? Sure. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, I sorry. Do. I just wanted. Uh-huh. To, I just wanted to ask. Okay, so I mean, like ELP, not so much. Uh, yeah. King Crimson, definitely. My Vishnu Orchestra, I love them. What about Yes and Genesis? Uh, Genesis, not really. No. no. Uh, yes, I like. Sure. Yeah, definitely. Fragile. It's. Uh, I collect stuff from 1972, the year I was born, and Fragile is from that year. I like that one. That is the best year. That is the best year of music ever. Soft Machine. Really? Thank you. Uh, absolutely. Ah. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, so another thing about calling people nowadays versus when you started is that people don't really talk on the phone anymore. I don't ever talk on the phone anymore. When I started listening to you, I knew every one of my friend's phone numbers. I can't tell you one of my friend's phone numbers anymore. Have you had to yeah. come up with more ways to keep people engaged in a phone, actual phone call? Yeah, yeah. That's uh, there's it's always there's always emerging techniques for that. But <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> uh, I try to do that. I, I do my best, and people, uh, you have to try. I mean, did you mention Bobcat Goldthwait before? Um, no, but he's I, he's a big part of our DNA. I feel like. Yeah, like. Uh, I've called him 50 times and spoke to him twice kind of thing. So there you go. And sometimes it takes a lot of work. People think that I, uh, I don't know what people think. I don't know yeah. what people's deals are, but have uh, during I think sometimes people think that I call someone 20 times, 30 times and talk to them before I record it to really, to really grease the wheels. And I would never do that. So no, it's very improvisational once they do uh, get on the phone. Yeah, I don't know. I'm psyched about this new album. I, I just think it, uh, it breathes new life into this whole thing. I'll send it. I'll send it along to your show, and hopefully you'll enjoy it up there. I, oh my god, I'll, that would make my whole world. Yeah, please, and uh, I I'll won't. I won't bootleg it. Well. I promise. <laughs> You'll send a what? I'll clear well. off. <laughs> well, um, thank you so much for talking to us, LPC, because uh, you're the best, and I'm really stoked on the movie. Everyone's got to go to the Indiegogo page. And uh, just throw a couple bucks the way. It, it's going to be great. And I'm really excited for Volume 13, which is actually the 14th album, if mm. you know what's up. Yeah. You know your shit. You're exactly right. Yeah, damn, you're good. Thank, thank you. you, guys. <laughs> um, and uh, thank you for letting us be a part of Trebek history with you. We are in the LPC wiki, wiki because you called Trebek one time on this station. Wiki, and it, wiki. And it, yeah, that was funny. Yeah, <laughs> and he might be in the movie, and I don't want to give too much away. So, okay. it'll be oh my god, it'll be fun. Well, I'm I'm also very honored because I I, w- I want to take credit. I think on the air we were the ones who gave you Jeremy Piven's I'm number. Identified caller, what do you want? I need to talk to you about my barbells, and my dumbbells. They've gone missing, and I think you know where they you are. You know, uh, 
if they're son of a bitches and bastards, means that your mother was a bastard to put you on this planet. Oh, sorry about that. Is that your? Hello? Who is that guy? Are you related to that guy, or what's <laughs> going on? Uh, we were sorry about that. Uh, it's it's perfectly all right. <laughs> Identified. Uh, oh, LPC. Before you go, let me give you one more real quick uh, um, lightning round, please. Please. I'm listening. All right. Sabbath or priest? Priest. Oh my god. Black metal or death metal? Thrash. King Diamond or Burger King? <laughs> if King Diamond made me a veggie burger, it would be him all the way. Devo or Resident? I just saw him oh. last Halloween. By oh. the way, it was it was rad. Isn't it amazing? Isn't he the best? Yeah, he played Melissa in its entirety. Well, please proceed. I'm, Lightning round. I can talk. Okay, uh, Devo or Residence? Devo. Nice. All right, LPC. Thank you, and uh, we look forward to everything. And we're gonna get at least four people to contribute to your Indiegogo. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. That was the greatest. He's the greatest. Yeah. I'm so excited. He call- Who's that man? He called. He was. Uh, he was just doing the work. I don't know. So he had to call him. Missing his barbells. <laughs> oh, so yeah, I really want to see that movie made. 